Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And we're working on page three. Page three. Page three is a simple page. It is going to have a pocket and an insert. So here is the pocket. This is from the 8x8 pack. I'm just going to trim it right there. There's the back side. So this is actually, you know, I have uh, two paper pads. So there you go. Two of the 8x8 paper pads. So this is going to go right here. Then we'll add the pocket liner, the pocket cover, and then I'm going to go over the insert with you. Another super duper warm day here. I'm going to try to get a video done. But I've got to run some errands with my, my son. He's at that age where I need to make sure he's got a meningitis shot. Because he's around lots of college age people from international backgrounds. So better safe than sorry. So we're off to do that this morning, and I also have the unfortunate placement of my craft room on the south side of the house, which is the hottest side. So I can't film too much into the afternoon. It's just unbearable in here. <clears throat> and I have a fan right on me. I'm going to cut that out of the background. <clears throat> but that's a really the only way I can stand. <laughs> and then right outside this beautiful window I have, <clears throat> if I open it, the heat radiates in. But also, right literally underneath my window is the air conditioner. So if it's running, I can't open my window and get any kind of um, circulation. That stinks. Ooh, you know what? I think I made my pocket a little too small. Let's see. Can I make it work? You know what? I'm going to come back to that. My pocket is a little bit small, and I'm going to live with that, but it means that I need to cut my designer paper to be level with the pocket because I want to have the same borders, and if I tuck it in, it's going to have a little bit more border over here than here. And I don't know how I did that, but I, but I did, and I'm going to make it work. I'm going to visually make it work by centering this, and that should solve most of my problems. <clears throat> I'll let that dry and then I'm going to have to, uh, to trim it real quick. So we'll just go with this. Then we'll go over. I keep missing my corners. Um, go over the insert. By the time we're done with that, uh, it should be dry. Okay. Now the insert is actually 11 and a half, and you're going to score at five. 11 and a half and score at five. I wanted it to be slightly staggered. Uh, this is from the 8x8 collection pack. It's really pretty. It's different than the rest of the patterns, but it's very pretty. On the inside, I'm going to use these bubbles. I think they're really cute. And I think it goes this way. Yeah. That's right. This is from the 12 by 12 pattern pack. Let's see how nice that looks when you close it. And then the way it's going to fit in the pocket is this is going to be tucked into the pocket so we don't need anything to hold that closed. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. <sighs> And if you're if you're not aware, we are shipping um, the latest Stamperia, the Graphic 45. Um, if they're not in stock, just put a little tick mark on the notify me when it's back because there's um, we're continuing to to reorder and restock. So if it's gone, it's probably only going to be out of stock for a few days. Julie's got that um, got that covered. Okay, let's see. Not quite as dry as I was hoping. 
but I think I can trim it with uh, just a straight edge and a ruler. Uh, looks like I don't need to take very much off. Check the other side. Okay. Oops, that's not pencil. <laughs> there you go. So I'm just going to take off, it looks like about a sixteenth of an inch. And I'm just going to use a ruler because I don't want to put this gunky thing into my trunk. You probably just heard my earphone. That means it is. 80 degrees in the house. During the day, I kind of keep it pretty high <clears throat> so that I can spend money at night so I can sleep. <laughs> I have to tr it's a trade off. <laughs> I can stand it during the day, but at night, I absolutely cannot sleep when it's hot or sticky like it's been. Let's see how it is. <clears throat> That looks okay. That's okay. Straighten that. Wow, it lights up so crooked. Maybe I cut it. Oh, it's not. It's not right. I see. You see, I see. But it was trying, it was buckling on the pocket, so that's why I wanted to trim it. So I, I gotta turn it upside down so you don't have to look at the top of my head the whole time. Right there. No. Now, obviously I did something wrong and it's crooked. It could even be the pocket. So I'm going to turn from here to this corner at a slight angle. And then that should sure everything up visually. Details, details. They do make a difference. Um, and we'll see here in just a second. <clears throat> Glue's not drying fast because it's so humid, which is a good thing. Okay, now I'm going to focus on getting an even border around these two corners first, and then I'm going to double check. There we go. Okay, now here's my insert. And we'll see how this top lip goes right inside. <clears throat> Just like so. And that is page three. I may do some more inserts, but I'm so early in the book, I don't know what kind of paper I'm gonna have left over. And um, if I do, I'll just add it to the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Stephanie from Scrap and Create.